Soon you will be able to pay for groceries at every Whole Foods in the U.S. with just a swipe of your hand. Amazon says that the pay by palm technology will be at all of those stores nationwide by the end of the year. Customers just have to hover their hand over the device to pay. This method is already being used at 200 Whole Foods locations across 20 states. And you can also find it in other places, stores like Panera Bread. Hardware editor at TechCrunch, Brian Heater, joins us now. Brian, let's just start off. Tell us how this technology works. Sure. So in terms of the actual enrollment process, the first time you go to one of these Amazon One locations, you wave your hand over it. That will enroll it you in the program, and then you associate that with a, a credit card that you have on file. In terms of the actual underlying technology behind it, it, it's not actually getting a read of the palm itself, which you know I think is, is what most people expect. It's actually taking a look at the uh, the vein patterns underneath your hands, which Amazon is is effectively saying is um, is is a way to do this kind of biometric identification without actually giving any uh, identifying information away. That's fascinating. I mean, I think anybody who hears this story immediately goes to questions about safety, privacy, the data that's being collected. Amazon has been criticized in the past for some of the data that, that they collect and their, uh, whether they have properly notified consumers about that. What, is, what safeguards is Amazon taking? Sure. Well, the primary one is all of this is going through uh, Amazon's cloud servers. So this is encrypted information. Um, and Amazon has generally done a good job of of, uh, of protecting privacy through the cloud itself. Um, you know, I think one of the sort of bigger concerns around this specifically is that unlike the biometric data that you're giving on your phone, for example, that, that's stored locally on the device itself, but this is this is going up into the cloud. So like theoretically, somebody could potentially grab that data, but it's good, it's it's intensely difficult. All right. Very interesting stuff. Brian Heater, thank you.